Hey, welcome to the shortest news video that I've made in a while. We have an update and literally some developer talk with Joad Animation, a rec room developer, and that's it. Why am I making this video? I, I don't even know, but just for the sake of consistency, let's talk about the rec room news. Now we got a new patch called the Place Precisely Edition, and it is small. Rec room was not playing around when they said that these updates would be small. For our entire patch note, which is just general improvements and bug fixes, they added place as a new way to interact with objects. Now you can pick them up and place objects with precisions on screens instead of dropping or yeeting them across the room. It's to help whatever you play games like chess or checkers and stuff like that, etc etc. They fix an issue with notifications disappearing once you've interacted with them, and they're busting ghost notifications this spooky season. And they fix an issue with the full body avatar version of the Durst Bike chest protector that should up that should show up to the correct color now. Now. They fix several issues while viewing players' outfits on their profile page, and there's even faster Maker Pen load times now. Now, we did also receive some new featured rooms, if you guys couldn't already tell. At least I think. I, I have no idea. In other news, we had also gotten this little announcement from Rec Room talking about Rectober. It's the final week of Rectober, and make sure to check out all of their Halloween bestsellers inside the store and see the spooky updates to their seasonal center before it goes away this week. Show us your spooky and scary outfits by bringing your friends and using the camera to snap some pictures for Rec.net. Of course, what did you guys think about Rectober this year? I think the addition of all the decorations and stuff was a nice touch to Rectober, to be honest with you. If I could rate it out of 10, I'd give it like a solid... Seven. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to this news video. And of course, this is not a news topic at all. Do you know that I have channel memberships? Well, it's true because I have new designs for my channel memberships. That's right, a Maniac, literally someone named Maniac, had made posters for my channel memberships. And massive shoutouts to these people who you guys can see on the screen right now for being inside my memberships, Calamari and above. If you don't know already, I have memberships and basically they give me money every month for special perks every month that are like being shouted out in all my videos and as well as getting sneak peeks to my videos as well. It's true, for about $5 a month, you can get your name read out by yours truly. And we got Daytrix, Hydro, Kobe Fan76, Nolan, Not the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB, Burning Owl, Raphael Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. Thanks for the love, people, and join the fam. Now let's get back to this news video. Now on to the next part of our actual news video now, I call it the Dev Q&A section. Players in the Discord community inside of Rec Room ask developers questions and chat with them about new features that may be coming soon. Whenever there was some chatter talking about hair being a hat and mixing hairstyles and stuff like that, Jude Animation added something like hair extensions, etc., right? Well, yeah, one of our artists has a cool idea for something like this and it would be a complex system to build, but something we might explore next year. There's also talks of letting players wear two sorts of hat items at a time, for example, bunny ears with like a big bow. And Jude Animation, oh yeah, for sure. We we too would like to better split up different types of headwear so you have more options. Agreed. We have a designer who is working on a solution for this and it's cool to see that this is actually like a feature that's almost in the works. And when asked if there is any way to shrink the watch with the new skeleton UGC hands, if you guys don't know what that is, check out my last video. And Joe Animation said, there's no current easy way to do this, but it's something we can look into. When I set up the watch for the upgraded bean, I tried to match up the scale up proportionally as best as I could. But I'm hearing reports like this where the scale feels off relative to the hand. My questions for you and others would be, one, how does the scale feel on upgraded bean versus full body avatar? Meaning, does the watch feel bigger with the full body avatar watch in a way that feels uncomfortable? What would a smaller watch on an upgraded bean benefit? Are there any downsides that you could think of? My concern with making it smaller is that it might make it harder to use, or the watch might be a bit more often hidden inside gloves. Curious to hear more thoughts about this. Watch skins are definitely something we talk about of wanting, and I believe that there are some ways we could do it that has no performance impact, but don't quote him on that though. Continuing onwards, Jude had even more information to talk about. Someone had given some pretty constructive feedback on the upgraded bean avatar, and here's what Jude had to say. Thanks for the feedback! Here's a meaty response since my fingers wanted to just keep typing apparently. Talking about the spine bend, their main dev who works with me on player embodiment and locomotion is on a well-deserved vacation. When they're back, we have some ideas about improving the bend of the spine, and once we have prototypes that we like, I'm looking forward to sharing with the community. I do want to make improvements here, and I'll outline a couple goals I personally have for VR. Ideally, the spine should be able to reflect wherever your actual body is. Most of the time, so you feel properly embodied, so the default should be that when you're standing in 
R and crouch, the spine should bend like your IRL spine is. But the spine shouldn't buckle and break when you sit in a chair, and it's more okay to clip through the chair than it is to be folded in half as we currently do. There are times where you want to play in VR and be seated and keep your spine more in a line with your upright seated back, and I want to find a good compromise between a rigid and floaty spine and one that is hunched in a way that feels disembodied. All this being said, I do want players to feel crouched when they're crouching and standing when they're standing. We'll do as much improvement to all of this as we have the capacity for, and this is to be continued. For animation style, as an animation director who has played Rec Room since 2017, I have grown very used to the way Classic Bean moved, just like all of you. But after playing with the upgraded bean for some months now, every time I switch back to Classic, I miss the expressiveness of the upgraded bean, and I am happy with this new norm for locomotion in most ways, though not all. I do have two main things I want us to improve regarding how upgraded beans move. They want to polish to what is here, and there are times where the torso reacts in ways that are confusing because it's moving related to the legs, which are of course not actually there. I like to simplify some of the way these movements happen so that the torso movement does not distract from the overall player expression, and the movement of the torso should reinforce the attitude and locomotion of the player, and while I think I've rebuilt a good system to scale into the future, I don't think we've finished by any means. And secondly, the wider range of expression. I know I mentioned it here for a month or more, but we're working toward a roadmap that we can validate internally and then share publicly. One of the things I'm passionate about is designing systems for our avatars to have different styles of locomotion and idols, something I'm calling personas. This would allow players to have more or less exaggerated movements and movements that show more mood or character to allow for players to be more delicate or more tough. And overall, work towards the area that your avatar can move and interact uniquely. We have not yet started work towards this other than the groundwork we've laid with these new avatar systems, but I'm now excited to get into this work as soon as we get the existing system stabilized. Very much appreciate the passion which everyone is providing their honest feedback. We look forward to continuing to move forward in an exciting future, and thank you for all your patience as we puny humans grow and learn throughout the process. Now there was more talk of course, and the topic had changed to, you know, emotes and custom emotes if you will. Jude Animation had this to say, saying we are planning to revamp our emotes reactions and dance systems. We'll focus on making some good defaults first but then build from there, but a lot of this stuff is feasible given the right time and resources, and also taking moderation and trust and safety into account, like you say there's a bright future ahead. Then the topic switched to custom reaction animations, and Jude Animation said I'd like us to figure that out eventually, and the way that Alatars and recorded animation currently works, it only saves the hands and head down. Data. And we try not to capture any more data that we need so it's less to network across everyone's machine, but I'd very much like to be able to take control over the- And that's pretty much all the news that we have for today's video. I know I record a lot of my videos inside the rec center a lot, and honestly, if you guys have any sort of ideas or maps that I could record my videos in, be sure to let me know. Anyways though, if you guys want more Rec'em news, you should be seeing more Rec'em news videos on that side of the screen and stuff. You're lucky, I would've had a sponsored segment in this video, but there's not a whole lot of news, so you're very lucky. I'll get you though. I'll get you. Anyways though, if you guys don't mind liking, subscribing, doing all that crazy stuff, and shoot, even using my code in-game, I would greatly appreciate it, and of course people, I'll catch you inside the next news video. Peace out.